What I have here is an article from Charisma Magazine. And I saw this article and I thought it was extremely important to read this. Uh, it's a prophecy. And the prophecy is saying that I'm calling you to set yourself apart. You see here the title. I'm calling you to set yourself apart. So as I scroll down, and this is what it reads. Now the, the author, you can see the author's name here. Okay. You see the author's name right here. And God is speaking to his people in this hour. And this is what it says. It says, the very first thing you begin to see. And this is in the book of Thessalonians. The great falling away. The great falling away is underway. On high, on, on top of high profile Christian leaders falling into gross sin. We're seeing notable authors, songwriters, and others denying Christ as Savior. Now, all the while, pastors continue committing suicide. The Holy Spirit told me several weeks ago to be a forerunner in this season of consecration He is leading us into. I have set myself apart at another level. On my mornings with the Holy Spirit prayer broadcast, I prophetically announce the season of consecration. And then I prophesize. There is much deception rising in this hour. And even some of my elect are being deceived by doctrines of devils, doctrines of demons, and spirits of suicide. Now I want to look this look at this right here. In this prophetic word, it said my elect. So these people who are being affected, just like the Bible says, my elect are being deceived by doctrines of demons and spirits of suicide. This is from the Word of God. They was not false converts. They were converts. But they are being deceived by doctrines of demons and spirits of suicide. And the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life are taking some of my soldiers whom I love. In this season, I'm calling you to draw yourself away, to set yourself apart. I have set myself apart for my purposes, but you must set yourself apart for my purposes in order to step into everything I've planned for you since before the foundation of the world, for the foundation of the earth. And you can also find that in the book of Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4. For when you were in your mother's womb, this Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5, you were consecrated unto me. And this me, when you see the capital, look at this right here. When you see the capital, this is a, a, a prophetic word. This capital is talking about God. And when you enter into this world, you enter into a new reality where your physical senses began to supersede your spiritual senses. But I want you but I want to make you so sensitive to my spirit that when you open your eyes in the morning, you begin to see angels and you begin to see demon powers and you begin to see pictures of my glory. God saying, I'm calling you to set yourself apart. I'm calling you to consecrate yourself unto me now. Do not wait. And do not hesitate, for the enemy is raging. He is attacking left and right, back and forth, from behind and in the front. He is taking out my children. And look what God is saying in this prophetic word. He is taking out my children one by one, and it grieves my heart. And I want to protect you. I want to hide you under the shadow of my wings, but you must fear my name. Bible says in the book of Proverbs that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You must walk so circumspectly to walk in the fullness of my protection. You must not look to escape my will. Now this is a very important prophetic word. So we must not look to escape the will of God. See, so looking here, there and everywhere for the pleasures of the world, the pleasures of the season. You must take your pleasure in me. You must set yourself apart for me because I have set you apart for myself. And together we will go into the places and see things that you did not know existed. And the holiness and the cooperation with my grace unto sanctification more and more sanctification 
will take you into realms that you did not know existed. And the price you will pay will be worth it because you're not only working out your salvation with fear and trembling, but you're also in ensuring that you'll cross the finish line. For those who endure to the end shall be saved. Jesus said this in the book of Matthew. So pledge to your own heart that you will decide to live a consecrated lifestyle. It's just not saying when saying something you're a child and not living the life. A consecrated lifestyle. Not just for a season. Not just for a few days of consecration, but a consecrated lifestyle. I am looking for some even to take a Nazarite vow to go into the extreme for me, to set themselves apart to the extreme for me, and to make some sudden changes that may shock those around you, but they won't, sh won't shock because I see you doing this. I see you succeeding in this. I see you. If you want me more, pursue holiness. For my word says, does it not? To pursue peace with men and holiness, without which no one can see the Lord. Pursue holiness, and I will make you holy even as I am holy. Set yourself apart. Consecrate yourself to me, for me, and I will give you the grace to do it. And yes, there will be resistance against this endeavor. Yes, there will be challenges. And yes, the enemy will come and ramp up the temptations against your heart. But my grace is sufficient for you. And pretty soon, the passing pleasures of this age will not be appealing to you no longer. As you consecrate yourself to me, those things that, you, that used to tempt you, that used to woo you, even the food that you eat, your desires will change. The closer you get to me, the less you desire the things of the world, and I will use you to do great and mighty things, exploits. Consecrate yourself today, and even by tomorrow you will see the difference in your sensitivity to my spirit. The joy in your heart and the peace in your soul. Consecrate yourself. And we can see right here in the author. And this is from Charisma Magazine. I just believe, brothers and sisters, this is a time that the Lord Jesus Christ is saying that we're looking at how Satan is ramping up the temptation and even the elected are being deceived. Even when you see brother rise against brother, not really understanding what's really going on, but you be seeing that, that pastors are committing suicide. We're looking while people and songwriters are denying Christ, Jesus Christ as being the Savior, denying Him. It's all what the Word of God says, the great fallen away. So He's saying, consecrate yourself to the Lord. Be on guard and do His will. Live the lifestyle. Not just the words, but live the lifestyle. So I hope you enjoy this. If you have, go back to uh, Charisma Magazine. And it's also be on my Facebook, so you can, you can go back and read it. Hope you guys enjoy this reading. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Jesus name.